Hello and welcome back to Bookish. Last week I was tagged by Alex Black uh, to do the BookTube stats tag. So I wanted to do that today really quickly. And I should be back later in the week with my Victober reading list, my Victober TBR, which I'm really kind of getting excited about. And my Victober TBR keeps mutating and growing in different directions, but I'm gonna to try to narrow it down to be more realistic, but I'll do that video later. But right now, thank you, Alex, for tagging me. It's really, that was really nice. Um, and uh, so I'm gonna do that tag and uh, we'll see how it comes out. So the BookTube stats tag has, I think, nine questions. I wrote them down on a piece of paper and I'm, I'm one of those old men with bad handwriting and so sometimes I can't read what I wrote. But question number one is how and when did you discover BookTube? Well, the, the answer to that is that uh, I, I discovered BookTube probably this summer, sometime in July of 2018. Um, and I was just kind of looking around for, for book discussions. I can't remember if I'm looking for information about a specific book, but I ended up searching uh, just in the YouTube search uh, uh, function for information about a book or about an author or something and I just realized that there was this thing called booktube and I started looking into that because I love books and I love talking about books. Um, I love talking with people about books who also love books and so booktube was really uh, kind of ideal for me. I already have, I think I've said this in other videos, but I was already on YouTube and I have a a YouTube fishing channel, uh, some part of the YouTube fishing community uh, uh, as well. Um, so I was already on YouTube doing videos for that. When I found out about BookTube, it just seemed really perfect uh, and something I, I really was interested in doing. Question number two is how long have you been on? Well, since July of 2018. This is September the 25th of 2018. So I think I'm, I've been on BookTube for a couple of months then if you add it all up. So the question, uh, third question number three is, what's your favorite thing about BookTube? And I, I have a lot of favorite things about BookTube, and it kind of depends on uh, the mood I'm in and the channels I've sus subscribed to. Um, I'm really trying to keep my subscription list of channels down to things that I'm really interested in, um, and there are a lot of different things I'm interested in. Sometimes I just want to see people do... Uh, book hauls. I just want to see new releases and books other people are reading to just get suggestions from but just seeing the books and hearing people say oh this is a, a good book about this subject this is you know I really like that um, I just like seeing the books and I like seeing people's enthusiasm for the books they chose to read I love the comment section um, you know I, I, I wish that I could always think of an insightful comment to leave on other people's videos that would lead to a a broader discussion and I wish uh, that my comments back to people about that my videos would lead to a uh, a broader discussion of books and uh, because I really like that and like I said uh, one of the reasons I want to make a YouTube channel or a booktube channel I should sorry is because I love, love to talk about books question number four is a little trickier and that's my least favorite thing about booktube I think Alex in her video about booktube and what she loved best about it was her own content and I think all of us really like our own content. And um, I have some pet projects uh, on uh, my BookTube channel, uh, things about World War I fiction. I have a series I do called Book Love, which is about loving books for more than just the, the stories and the information in them. Um, and I really like those. I love making those videos. And I, I don't want this to sound whiny because I know this is true for almost everybody. Um, those are oftentimes the videos that get the fewest views. And while I accept that that's true, and I make the videos really because I, I want to talk about those things and and uh, I mention those things. It is it is a little disappointing <laughs> when you when you have a pet project video and it doesn't get very many views. But you know I think that's common for everybody, and um, the rest of the BookTube experience is well worth uh, that. And I do uh, like still like making the content. I think question number five, and again I have a hard time reading my handwriting. I think question number five is to recommend uh, a booktuber and I'm hesitant to do this because I'm going to leave people out but if you haven't visited Alex Black's channel I would definitely recommend her channel. There's also a channel called Biblio Atlas but she does some amazing in-depth stuff about some really difficult books and uh, I just love seeing the intellectual excitement she has. Um, for the book she's reading and um, kind of how joyously she approaches the, the learning process. Uh, also, Old Blues, Blues Chapter and Verse, I think, is, is one 
that I would uh, recommend uh, to anybody. Uh, his wife uh, has a channel called Books I Haven't Read, or Books I'm Not Reading. Oh, I'm sorry if I messed that up. Uh, I like that channel too. Uh, there's a, a relatively new channel called Big Hard Books and Classics by a guy named Alan Mahan, and he is um, he's really interested in, in book discussions, and um, so, you know, I, I'd encourage you to go over there and look at his stuff and, and see if you have something to contribute to those discussions, because I think that's really worthwhile. Uh, I think probably one of my favorite book booktubers is Dane Cobain. I just, I just kind of dig the the whole vibe of his of his videos and how he does things and his sense of humor I like those um, Katie from Books and Things is probably another big booktuber I like a lot I'm sure you've all seen her channel but uh, talk about enthusiasm for books particularly for you know Jane Austen and classics and Victober which is coming up is, is really her enthusiasm is in, infectious and I'm sure I've left several people out who I should have mentioned who've been incredibly nice to me and I'm sorry. And that, oh, uh, Laura Fry from uh, Reading in Bed. I really like her channel too. And I like her take on things. And uh, from what I can tell, she and I frequently uh, agree on book choices. Um, oh, also uh, Joseph Francis Burton, I think. He has an interesting channel. And he just recently did a video about um, The Mill on the Floss and George Eliot. I think he has a a mission to read all of George Eliot and make book reviews about it. Anyway, those are some of the channels that, that I really like and uh, that I can think of, you know, just on the fly. Question number six is, what were your original goals on expectations? Well, obviously I expected to get on YouTube and instantly have 10,000 followers and all these sponsors and make money and get free books. No, that was not my expectation. My expectations have already been exceeded. Uh, I am uh, I am stunned and um, uh, kind of in, uh, humbled by the fact that uh, I have as many followers as I do and I dearly love getting comments from them and I don't have any real expectations other than to make videos about books and things related to books that I enjoy and to watch other people's videos and, and hopefully uh, engage in discussion about books uh, in the comments section. Oh yeah, Words Words Everywhere uh, is a great channel. Um, also Totally Pretentious, I'm going back to question five. I think he has a great channel and I enjoy uh, his content. Question number seven is any tubers you watched uh, when you started but I don't but you don't watch now. So when I first started my booktube channel and started watching booktube I watched, I saw and subscribed to a few uh, YA oriented booktube channels and I still subscribe to a few um, but you know I, I don't really end up watching their videos a lot because I don't know if you can tell by looking at me I'm probably not the target audience for a lot of YA uh, fiction not that I think there's anything wrong with it um, at all I think it's awesome and I love all those and all those people who have all that enthusiasm for whatever books they want to read I'm more power to them but that's just not those aren't the books I read, and those aren't the books that I don't that I normally want to talk about. But there are some people who read YA. Uh, Alex Black is an example, who I enjoy hearing their comments about any book they read, uh, because I think that they are often insightful and interesting, and they take all books seriously, and all their reading seriously in a good way, in the sense that they are reading critically and evaluating. Uh, whatever it is they choose to pick up. Uh, question number eight is favorite booktube recommended book. And I have pretty definite opinions about books on my own and I usually buy and read the books that that I think about buying and reading but I will say that um, there was some uh, relatively new literary fiction that came out and I've re reviewed these books on my channel. Uh, probably uh, Little Fires Everywhere by Celeste Ng it's something I found through BookTube. There, There by Tommy Orange, which I also liked, is something I found through BookTube. But I think, I think I saw Gilead by Marilyn Robinson on a BookTube channel, and that's been my favorite book I've read uh, since I've been on YouTube. So that's probably my favorite BookTube recommendation. So then the last question is, who do you tag? Uh, so I would tag um, Alan at Big Hard Books. Uh, 
um, Joseph Francis Burton. I would tag him to do this video. Also, um, I'll tag Laura Fry. I don't know if she's done this video or not. I, I kind of sometimes tags like this have a tendency to kind of run together in my head, but I'll tag those three people. I'll leave links to their channels below and I'll try to remember <laughs> and try to write down the list of channels I recommended and leave links to those channels below too. Anyway, that's my take on the BookTube stats tag. And again, Alex, thank you for tagging me uh, to do this video. It was enjoyable thinking about all this. Let me know what you think in the comments down below and thanks as always for watching.